Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your next 24 hours love reading. This will be for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. This whole channel is strictly Virgo, so welcome. If you're new, please do hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Remember to hit the notification bell and also remember to um, enable that in your phone so that you will um, know when I upload. I usually upload around the same time every single day. Um, all right, let's see. If you'd like to get a personal reading, Virgo, there's a link in the description box below. And everything you need is down below. You can also check out my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, to get more readings. Okay, let's take a look here, Virgo. Let's look at the past. Okay, you have the King of Swords. Page of Cups and the Fool. Okay. Present Six of Wands, Five of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. And in the future, you know, Judgment, the Star, Page of Pentacles. Okay. Um, so Libra, Gemini, and a lot of Aquarius, Scorpio energy thus far. Okay, let's take a look and see what the love messages are here for you, Virgo. Virgo sun, moon rising, next 24 hours. What does Virgo need to know in regards to their love life, their relationship? What can we know about Virgo? Okay, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay, that could be coming up for some of you. Um, it could already be occurring at this time, still ongoing. <clears throat> Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I feel like there is an energy here of like taking some time out to try to figure out how you feel about somebody um, or your person doing the same. Okay, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. All right, so there is an element here of um, taking some time out to assess, you know, or just feel the feelings, the romantic feelings, to explore, uh, you know, somebody here exploring how they feel about the connection. Um, might be an element of getting to know one another, taking that time to reveal, okay? Um, getting to know the self or connecting with this, connecting with each other. And um, re I just feel an element of revelation here, you know, um, and judgment is here. So that could be something in the future. Past position though, the King of Swords, Page of Cups and the Fool. I do feel like there was someone in your past with that king of swords energy no matter who it might have been this person was very strategic intentional um not an overly emotional you know cuppy kind of energy this is just someone who is more cerebral but with the page of cups i feel like there was some type of an offer or some communication from this person light and sweet for some of you it might have been an apology but the fool is here and i feel like there was someone here in the past that was on board to take some kind of a chance with you or have a new beginning or you know maybe this person came into your life from a distance in the past um there was a lot of communication from this person <clears throat> i feel like they were kind of low on the emotional train but high on the intellectual train okay so there might have been like a very cerebral type of person, but someone who, um, when they communicated with you, um, sent like kind of a lot of nice messages to you. That can be a card of new love, you know, that kind of thing. Um, volunteering or offering up um, loving communication to you. But I'm going to pull some clarifier cards because I want to look at the King of Swords. Okay, yeah, this person, Page of Swords, this person some of their communication was sweet and some of their communication was direct and to the point so i feel like it was a mixture of both with this person and that page of swords this person might have been a little bit gossipy or chatty you know very curious about you always you know seeking to get the truth about something let's take a look at this page of cups and see what the energy is 
Okay, the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this person had good intentions with you in the past. I do. I feel like, you know, this person, the, the reason for the, the loving communication from them was, I feel like trying to move a relationship you know, putting in some effort, trying to move the relationship, but slowly, but in a positive direction. You may have, there may have been travel. There might have been long distance, or you guys, this person came to you, or you went to them. Um, or there was like um, an offer to go somewhere together. Uh, take a chance. Have some kind of new beginning with you. Let's take a look at the fool. Okay, the hermit. Hmm. This person, I feel, I was going to say felt, but I feel. It's like this person was willing to come out of like hiding. I feel like they have kind of a loner energy. That's Virgo energy there. I feel like this person had kind of a loner energy, um, introverted, kind of kept to themselves a lot. But with you, um, or yeah, with you, it seems like they were willing to take that risk to come out of their shell, you know, and try to have something move forward. But they might have had, it feels like there may have been some, like they were spying on you or just maybe there was an element of like, they needed to have truth. And so they may have had like some obsessive tendencies. Okay. Um, this person, I feel like there was some trust issues. This person had some trust issues. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Um, let me take a look. I want to see this separation because I feel like there's a, there's kind of this like taking time out right now to explore how, if there's romantic feelings, if you both know each other well enough to keep it going or to move it forward. Okay. Um, but in the present, the Six of Wands is here. Victory with the Five of Wands. This person, they see here that there are challenges to your relationship. Okay? They don't want to be without you, Virgo. And with the Six of Wands, this person really wants to be the winner in this relationship. Like they want to be able to overcome whatever challenges they are that you guys have or had in the past. I don't, there's something here about the separation. Let's see, why was there separation? Oh, look, Virgo, the emperor is here. <laughs> so I feel like your person separated from you um, or is going to just remain in that position if there was some type of, I feel like there's a reassessment of their feelings. Okay, let's take a look at the romantic feelings here. Yeah, the two of wands. Um, that's another exploring energy. So the two of wands is kind of like trying to make a decision. They are. This person is assessing how they feel about you. If there's romantic feelings, they're exploring their, their loving feelings for you, like what's there. Um, and there's something here about revealing some things to you revealing to you how they feel. I feel like this person is going to reveal. Let me take a look here. Oh yeah. Um, that's a huge change for this person to open up and reveal how they feel about you and really take the time to get to know you better. Even if you guys know each other, this is like getting to know each other on like the innermost feelings. Okay to deepen this bond. I feel like this person is really thinking about you and wanting to do this. Let me take a look at this six of wands here in the present, this victory card. Okay, king of pentacles. This person wants to show, showboat that they're stable or that they're financially stable. I don't know if that's something that you needed from them. For some of you, maybe you did, but it's not also financially that they're solid, that they're a good leader, you know, that there's someone that you can count on. I feel like this person that's Virgo Taurus Capricorn wants to show you this.
and also express how they feel. Let me see here. This five of wands, because that five of wands, you know, that, that can there's uncertainty here, but there's also an element of like realignment. There may have been consistency. Maybe they were inconsistent in the relationship. Okay, but it's all about change. It just kind of feels like this person, um, they want to overcome obstacles and be the winner. Look, the fool's here again. So we have Aquarius energy. Yeah, this is a risk now. This person, it feels like they're willing to take to start this new. I feel like this person has been trying to start having this, has always wanted to go on, like have a new beginning or have some kind of adventure with you, like take a chance with you. But I feel like they weren't really sure how they felt or asking themselves, like taking that time apart to see if they could give you what you need in this relationship. Let's see the five of pentacles. Okay, the moon, yeah. I feel like this separation is bringing up a lot of dark energy for this person. And the moon can be, you know, all about trusting their intuition. And I, I just, the moon energy, Piscean, this person kind of has very deep feelings. But there's something here about you guys being, not being together feels uncomfortable for this person. Yeah, Ten of Wands. It's too much of a burden. It just feels like they feel uncomfortable not being with you. Like they feel lost without you. It's like the Ten of Wands makes me feel like it's very stressful. They feel exhausted when they have to deal with things on their own. It's almost like they need you to help them. <laughs> they, there's a bit of dependency on you. Emotional dependency. Yeah, they're not really telling me. I don't... Let me see. Why... All right, so I do feel like there's separation here. It's strange because it's kind of contrasting, right? Because it's like this person doesn't want to be without you, but there's challenges. I don't, it's not telling me whether something ended or not. Did something end here? Hmm, the hangman. Well, it was kind of a stalemate. I feel like yesterday's reading with stalemate was over. Um, and I don't know if that will resonate for you. That Piscean energy again. I feel like this person, it, there needed to be like a fresh new outlook on this relationship for your person. They needed to be able to see something differently about this. I feel like there might have been a lot of holding on, but no growth in this connection. So going forward, oh, this is beautiful. Judgment, the star, and the page of pentacles. So I am feeling like there's some type of renewal and possible reconciliation coming through like there's this total revealing your person is i feel like they're making a final decision um they're coming to clarity opening up i just heard sweden i don't know what that has to do or swiss chocolate swiss sweden i feel like this person is opening up <clears throat> will be telling you everything coming out of the dark, coming out of the closet, coming out and opening up, bearing everything to you. Yeah, Knight of Wands with passion, so much passion, and there's healing here. The star card, this person could be in the public eye, or there's just a healing energy with the star. And again, with that star energy, there's renewal. Both are renewal cards. There's gonna be communication coming from them going forward. They are going to talk to you, but they want to talk to you about these changes. They want to make these changes and push the relationship forward and have progress, like a turning point. Because I feel like this person is really taking it seriously to explore how they feel and uh, make a, making some kind of decision and looking forward to the future. Let's look at the star card. Okay, yep, karma, that's judgment again. Okay, opening up. 
healing this relationship and Scorpio energy. So this person, it feels like, <laughs> you know, karma can always be that kind of like what goes around, what comes around, goes around and so on and so forth. But it really just feels like total clarity that this relationship can work as long as they get into a healing mode and they're, I, you know, like they say, do two people have to want to heal it. And I feel like some of you do want to heal this. And I feel like this person does too. It's like a wake up call. And they, this person is very like passionate about you, Virgo. Could be in a, a fire sign, but this person has like such a strong, like a lusty, um, thing for you they're very free spirited or they're becoming very free it's like freeing themselves to be able to move forward towards you now okay <laughs> taking action what's this communication so the page of pentacles is here you know telling you that how much you know they really do value you uh, maybe they have you on a trophy or they have you like, you know, they look at you and they're just like, you're almost untouchable to them. Um, there's an energy of like, you know, my dreams, my hopes, everything I would want is Virgo and telling you this and wow, it's like gonna, it's gonna be a surprise, I feel. Oh gosh, page of cups too sharing their love and their emotions, yes, along with their ideas and their plans of things that they want with you. <gasps> Ace of Cups, I'm telling you, there's like a brand new beginning happening here. Proposal even, talking about it. It feels more like discussing marriage, discussing changes, emotional changes, like a proposal. Um, maybe a new baby, um, talking about this relationship, bringing healing and hope into this relationship. This is what this person wants, okay? And this, it's a one, so it's new beginnings, initiation, courage. This person taking a leadership role in the relationship, you know, being courageous, having that willpower. Maybe they didn't do that before. Um, I feel like there was many attempts, this person made many attempts to take these risks with you and these challenges, some of the challenge could have a lot to do with um, either they, uh, like it was like two people being in a connection but both were lonely in that connection. The fool is like, could be about immaturity. Some of the challenge it could have to do with their immaturity. And I feel like this person, that's what I was saying here with the emperor, you know, wants to, sh you know, really sorting to see if they can really meet your needs that you need from this person, male or female. Mostly their finances, you know, having financial stability is really important to this person. Let me see. I just want to get another card for the fool. Wow, you have the star again. My gosh, I just want to tell you, I don't know who this is for, but you, some of you are connected with an Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, because there's a lot of Aquarius here, okay? Um, again, healing, growth, renewal. So much reconciliation and renewal in this connection is coming forward that this person wants. Oh my gosh, <laughs> This person's gaining hope, like hope. I don't know what's going on. What is giving them this hope about the about your relationship? It's like this person's hoping for a miracle. Let me see. Huh, the three of wands. They're waiting. This person is waiting for you. You know, they're willing to put in that teamwork and see if they can, we can, you know, I'm just hearing, can we expand on our relationship and just move things forward? I feel like I want to pull a card for karma, for judgment. Yep, six of wands again. We keep getting repeating cards. So the message is pretty much the same. This person wants to win. They want to win you over. They don't want to be like the winner. They want to be the winner of your heart. Oh. 
and there's good news coming here. This relationship, whatever this connection is, whatever was going on, I feel like this person maybe just needed time to understand how they were feeling, to really explore their emotions, you know? And I don't know that this, that they ever truly, you know, really looked to see how they felt, you know, um, that maybe they were just doing the day-to-day -day with you and never truly looking to see how they felt about both of you or taking it seriously. Um, okay, I'm going to pull some love cards here and see what the messages are, how this person, what are their feelings that they're exploring? What are these deep emotions? Okay, they did give us card here. I took the easy way out. Yeah, I do feel like this person did that. They just kind of ignored their emotions and just kept things very cerebral, like I was saying, um, but not much in the way of the cup energy. I feel like if there was any cup energy between the two of you, very light, loving communication, but very light, like flirtation, cute texts, cute phone calls, cute messages, like flirtation, but no, none of that deep emotional, you know, what else? Okay. Past life love. Your soul remembers this intense connection. So you guys, this is a past connection. This is a past lover. You may or may not be with them right now. Okay. Or somebody that you knew that, you, you know, you met them before. Let's see. Okay. I hid who I really am from you. All right. Yep. And I feel like this person, your person hid their deepest feelings and emotions from you and either ran or just took the easy way out. Didn't want to, didn't want to talk about them. I definitely feel like they don't, they never intended to lose you, but they just really didn't understand that they had to reveal their inner, like how they really feel inside in order to deepen the bond. It feels like this person is coming and making those changes. I remember every detail of that day. I wish I could take back my words. The timing just wasn't right, but now the wheel of the year is here and this is all about timing and a turning point here. I feel like time, it was just a matter of time. I'm afraid to contact you. Yeah, right at the moment, I feel like this person is still sorting themselves out and still sorting out how they feel. Um, but I do feel going forward, they will contact you and there will be communication about this and how they feel. You speak to me through music. So that might be playing out. I lost myself for a little while. Okay. And that's something they'll tell you, you know, in this separation, um, that they were kind of lost. They weren't sure. They didn't know what to say or what to do. You were the best thing in my life. Yeah. I don't really feel like anybody's ever come as close. For them to even consider how they feel about a person. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Wow, Virgo. I don't feel like this person has ever forgotten about you. There is a regret for lying to you for something. And the lie could have just been hiding. Okay. Keeping on, you know, a false mask. I hid who I really am from you. And I feel like that's what that person was lying about. Their authentic self. Their truth. There was a fear somewhere that you wouldn't like them or you wouldn't love them or that there would be rejection. Yep. You came closer than anyone. That's what I was saying. And they're really considering it. And if you guys are in separation at this time, they're looking at this like, wow, I don't know what they're looking at, but <laughs> they're looking at something that's like, wow, I'm starting to understand our connection. See, that's what's going on right now with this person, exploring their deeper feelings. I feel like in a lot of ways, they didn't understand this relationship. What For some of you, this person and you connected and it started out as just like casual and then feelings developed. I don't know that this person um, expected that. I want you. So now that's where they're at. Now they can't stop thinking about you. I know I messed up everything. 
You may not have even expected this to come about. I am becoming a better person. So this person is definitely changing. I know that I crossed the line with you and I do feel like they're trying to change those things about themselves um, and trying to like make these beautiful changes here. I feel like there's a they value you and I feel like they always did, but it was mostly like it seems like this person had a hard time valuing themselves or even feeling like they were worthy of a relationship. Okay, but some things are changing here. The tables are turning and it's going in your favor. And, you know, this person, I feel like they come to terms with how they truly feel. And there's this communication where you guys start talking again and, and really try to get to know each other, not from what's on the outside, but the inside. Like coming to a place of understanding and the bond begins to grow even deeper. You know, it's not spread out across. It dive, It's a dive deep to connect so wow virgo i hope that that resonates for you and you see that coming for you in uh, the near future um i wish you guys all the best though and i will see you tomorrow have a great night bye